I'm ready. <laughs> what up? Let's get to it. It's the Warriors music. It's the ultimate warrior. It is. Look at that. The ultimate warrior. What is he doing? Is he going to attack Hogan? What is going on here? So the Minnesota Vikings, man, no doubt, no doubt, had a great offseason, huh? Had a great draft, in my opinion. Now, the verdict is still out. Players still got to pan out, still got to do their job, still got to develop, et cetera, et cetera. But at the end of the day, the overall offseason, I, I graded a win. I ain't going to give it an ABC. I'm going to say a win, dog. I'm going to say it's a plus, homie. But at, with that being said, it's some things I'm still concerned and certain you know, spots, certain holes in the defense that I think uh, is cause for concern for the Vikings, though. And if somehow they don't address it or if players don't develop or if players don't contribute, I don't I don't think the Vikings will make that Super Bowl run. I mean, at least not this season coming up. Now, we've seen crazy things. You never know what can happen from season to season. But if I'm comparing the best teams in the league, Super Bowl team, the trenches, the Vikings are still lacking in the trenches, homie, especially that defensive interior and that offensive interior. Now, we know you got some UDFAs in the building, some big bodies. You know you got some year two players coming in, year three players coming in, the Joaquil and Roy's, some of the UDFAs. They re-signed Jonathan Bullard, which I was never big on him. When I look at the defense, I feel like they still need one or two studs. You talk about Harrison Phillips, is he a stud? You know, he's good. He's solid. But is he elite? Huh? Is he one of them big boys, them real dogs up front? Now, he has his flashes. He had a solid season. But is it enough? Is it enough when you look at teams like the Niners, huh? The Chiefs, huh? Big boys like Chris Jones in the middle, dog. You dig me? And the list goes on. You look at the Bills, huh? their interior, the Packers, even the Bears. Their defense is solid, homie. Huh? Had the number one Russian uh, rush defense in the league. So it's still question. Let's not just get all crazy with it. You know, now applaud the Vikings. Hooray, hurrah, hooray, hurrah. They found their future franchise quarterback. Hopefully, hopefully, huh? They drafted Dallas Turner edge rush. I'm not, I'm not even concerned about the edge rushers, though. Huh? I'm not even concerned about the edge rushers, homeboy. Matter of fact, Dallas Turner, he could definitely be rookie of the year or defensive lineman, defensive player, rookie of the year. You dig me? I think the, the edge rushers are solidified depth and all of that. My biggest concern on the defense, we're going to do defense first, is them trenches, that interior, them interior linemen or lack of, duh. Heavy. Now, I said the same thing last season and off season. You can acquire all the skilled players you want to, huh? You can have athletes, talent, receiver position, running back, your quarterback, huh? <laughs> but at the end of the day, if you don't got them trenches, dog, it's going to be a long season, bro. That's where the games are won. I don't care what nobody talking about, bro. Look at every playoff year, every NFL season, playoff games. What? Who wins? Trenches, dog. Who's more physical? Who wins the trenches, especially in the second half? Adjustments, of course. Adjustments, of course. Other factors play a role. But the main, main thing is them trenches. Who dominates them trenches, duh? And I feel like the Vikings are still lacking in that area, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Now, I'm not sure how long they have to, you know, uh, add more players. You dig me? Make a trade, whatever. And like a June 1st deadline. But if they, they can't get a D tackle up in there, dog, like I say, I want to see another big body, dog. Another elite player up in there, homie. That's what I would like to see, homie. Hands down, man down. You dig me? Another big body player who can move bodies, control the line. That's what the Vikings need. You dig me? Now you talk about Tillery and free agents. We're going to see what happens. Like I say, you never know. Players could have breakout seasons, a change of scenery, et cetera, et cetera. But at the end of the day, they need they need big boys who can stuff them gaps. And I don't I'm not sure if they have that, dog. Huh? Not only that, you can't just think about first string. What about your second string, huh? What does your backups bring to the table, huh? If they number is called, can they contribute, homie? We saw the game versus the Eagles. Let's not front. Let's not front, baby. The Eagles put up mad numbers, dog. Mad and rushing game yard numbers on them, homie. They got better. Uh, down the line further in the season, that was because of Flores. <laughs> that was because of Flores, homie. 
You dig me now? I love what they did with the linebacker position. Still, Corston's a cornerback, but the biggest Corston on defense is them trenches, homie. And I feel like that could set the Vikings back. Huh? Now, all, all the players they signed in free agency, the year two players, year three players, <laughs> they, they, could, they could develop. They could get better. You know? They could come in, ready to have a breakout season, ball out. You've seen it happen before. But nine times in the nine times out of ten, you can really tell which player has reached his ceiling, which player, what what a player is gonna bring you to the table, huh? You dig me? So it's like you pretty much know after year two, year three. I'm gonna say year three, definitely. Year four, whether a player is a elite, elite guy, good or just average, homie. Just another guy, just another player, huh? So, like I say, it's a, it, it, it's it's a lot more moves that could potentially be made. You know, it's a lot more time left in the off season. You got OTAs, training camp. Uh, uh, a lot of things could transpire. You know, players could players could just get better. You dig me? Players could just get better at the game. The game could slow down for them. But like I say, big course them, them trenches, homie. That 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 them interior linemen, homie. You dig me? I ain't gonna say I'm not. I don't believe in them, but I'm not just overly confident that they can stand up, especially during playoffs when it's real physical. It's real gritty, duh. Huh? No disrespect to nobody. Wish them the best, but that's my opinion, dog. Now we go to the offensive side of the ball, O line. Uh, I definitely don't believe in Garrett Bradbury, big ass. Huh? You know how I feel about Bradbury and Ed Ingram, duh. Huh? Period. You know how I feel about both of them boys. Made it clear, dog. I'm standing on that 10 toes down. Both of them be the first ones in line for the hamburgers and cheese with the fries on the side. Extra side of fries, homie. You, you hear me? Ain't, ain't, ain't earned a plate, homie. They haven't earned an extra meal, an extra slab of beef, boy. A brisket, boy. Put that brisket down, boy. Pick up a veggie. Pick up some veg, boy. Eat like you a eat like you a big lion on that field, boy. Huh? <laughs> Get up out of here, man. So Brad Bradbury and Ingram, uh, definitely doubt them. No disrespect, it is just what it is. I don't know what the Vikings see in Gary Bradbury, homie. They see something, obviously. You dig me? But even the uh, the the left guard and right guard, not not believing in it, homie. Now the tackles, boom, bam, solidified. Kristen Derrissaw, Brian O'Neill. And shout out to the Vikings for, for picking up Christian Derrissaw's fifth year option, which they should. Duh. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> That's a no brainer, huh? Heavy. Now, if Derrissaw can stay healthy, as well as O'Neill, they both have suffered injuries during the season. So that's a question as well. You hear me? But at the end of the day, duh. <laughs> Bradbury, I don't believe in. Ed Ingram, I don't believe in, duh. You, you dig me? Now, now, if the Vikings would have drafted a center, I know they got a, a UDFA with some potential, but ah, uh, nah, man. Now, now it gets me to this point. Everybody talked about how the Vikings really weren't a bad O-line last season. They were ranked top 10 in every category. That's cool. That's cool. But don't get caught up into the numbers, into the PFF grades, dog. What about the eye tests? What about how players and Garrett Bradbury always get his fat ass pushed back versus the top D lineman? How about that? So we want to talk about numbers. We know how people, you, you know, we know how people get deceived by numbers, homie. Hmm? Heavy, dog. We know how numbers can trick you, homie. <laughs> the numbers can look good, but they can really be flawed, homie. Heavy, homie. You dig me? You get my drift? So I really don't care about the numbers, homie. I'm looking at the games I watched against top-tier D linemen when they couldn't get no rushing yards, when they couldn't get a run game going. <laughs> and some people may blame it on Kevin O'Connell with his Piss poor play calling at moments. Cat, boy. We saw the game. You saw the game, homie. It's time the Vikings couldn't budge a defense. I'm talking about they got no movement, homie. No movement. Nobody's moving bodies, dog. Period. Bottom line, dog. You hear me? Let's be real about this here, dog. Stop the cat. Stop the cat. So don't talk to me about the old line being top 10. Oh, Kirk Cousins holding the ball too long in certain situations. All right, that... That all may have some relevancy to it, but at the end of the day, dog, versus the best defenses, what did the old line, especially that interior, do? Get manhandled, get beat up, get bullied around, dog. And it started with Garrett Bradbury, dog, huh? What we really talking about? What we really talking about here, dog? Yeah, huh? 
So get mad all you want to, man. Great offseason. Keep building upon that. But I'm worried about them trenches in the Vikings territory in school. Territory, dog. Period. <laughs> Heavy. I don't want it to be the same situation as last year, dog. Huh? O-line felon. D-line felon. We're going to see, though, man. But that's my take, my opinion on it. Let me know how you feel about it. You agree or disagree. Do you feel good about the Vikings trenches at this point, both sides of the ball, dog? Fire them comments up. Feedback is much appreciated. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm on and rock and rolling, man. Takes less than one second. Support the grind. Support the channel. You know what it is. Big skull head. Skull Vikes forever, man. 1,000. <laughs> yeah. Woo! <laughs>